Hello, so this is what we're going to be creating today. And this is a 3D box built entirely in After Effects, which can be controlled by this null. It's super simple to build, so let's get started. So I'm just going to create a new composition. 1920, 1080, happy with all that, five seconds, click OK. And the first thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle or a square using this tool here. While drawing, I'm just going to hold shift on my keyboard just so it stays in proportion. Then I'm going to click on the layer, go to align up here. If you can't see align, window, align at the top. I'm just gonna click on this one and this one, make sure it is aligned in our composition centrally, both vertically and horizontally. Then I'm going to go down to our layer, open the contents, rectangle, rectangle path. And on the size, I'm just going to make this 500 by 500. You can make this whatever size you like, but do remember this number as we will be using it later on. Let's close this back up and click on this 3D cube layer here. If you can't see this layer, make sure you have the buttons at the bottom selected. Once that is on, let's click our layer again or make sure it's still clicked and hit A on our keyboard for the anchor point. We'll go down to transform anchor point. And on this far right anchor point, because we should have three, because this is selected, we're going to move the anchor point half the size of our square. So our square was 500. So we're gonna put this to 250. If your square is 1000, make this 500. If it's 100, make it 50. Half of whatever your dimensions of your square are. And I'm just going to, on our select view layout here, going to do two views, horizontal, and I'm just going to click in here, make sure this is top, which it is. If yours isn't, select top here. And you'll see, if I click on this layer again, this is our anchor point. This is the point it will scale from, rotate from, basically the center point of this layer. And it's now back here in the Z depth of our comp. If I was to rotate this now, you'll see it rotates around that anchor point. So what we're going to do now is add a null. Go up to layer, new null object, and we're going to do the same and click this 3D button, like that's selected. And we're going to pick whip our shape layer to our null. And what we're going to do now is select our layer again and duplicate this with Command D. I'm not sure what that is in Windows, but if we can go to Edit and Duplicate, you will see the shortcut to the side of it here, or you can just click on this. And we're going to do this so we have six in total. So you should have seven layers, six, and our null, seven in total. And from the top, I'm just going to name these front, back, let's go left, right, top, and bottom. So our front is in the correct position. Our back, if we, uh, if we click on our back and hit R, for our rotation, we're just going to rotate this we're just going to rotate this 180 degrees it doesn't really matter which axis but i've chosen the y rotation so 180 so it, as you can see it is now at the back i hide that and our left hit r again again we want our y but this time we want it to just be 90 so i'll type that in manually 90 close that our right 
hit R again, again Y, but this time we want minus 90 or 270. Same thing, and that will appear on the right as you can see. R top, hit R again, and this time we want our X rotation. We want this to rotate minus 90 as well. Okay, minus 90 there, close this, and finally our bottom, again X, but we want 90, type like that, 90, 90. And that there is it. So if we now go back to our null at the top, click on this and hit R, we can now rotate this cube in 3D space. So you will see they are all currently the same color. So what I do do is keep the front and back the same. If I select our left and our right, both together, up here to our fill, and I'll just make that a bit lighter. Go to our top and our bottom, select them both, back up to our fill, let's make these a bit darker, click OK, and you'll see that that gives it a nice 3D look. So if, if we go back to our null, rotate these in any direction, and we have a 3D cube. So I'm just going to go back to one view, and I'm just going to reset our rotation, and I'm just going to click the stopwatch, go forward slightly, and I'm just going to rotate that 90. Let's ease that in. Let's ease this one out. And I'm just going to highlight that keyframe and go to our graph editor just to adjust our ease in. And I'm just going to play that. Going to add another keyframe. Go forwards here. And this time let's add 90 here. And let's rotate this one 180. And again, let's right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease in. Right click on the first one, keyframe assistant, easy ease out. Back to our graph editor. And that, tighten these up, bring them in. Go back to our main view, play that again. I'm actually just going to bring these right close to the other one. And there you go. Might just knock this to 180 as well. Just give it a really big rotation on that second one. And there you go. So you can use this technique for text layers, any layers you can um, create as a 3D layer. You can even add a uh, lighting and a camera to this to give yourself shadows and make it look a bit more realistic. And there you go. That is how you can use some 2D layers to create a 3D object. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching.